Today we're going to show you how to fold down the Boogaboo Fox 5 with the seat in the reverse facing, forward facing with the bassinet, and also how to detach elements and compress elements in order to fold it as small as possible. So starting out with the seat on and in the reverse facing, you want to make sure that the front wheels are locked, the swivel locks are engaged, and you want to apply the brakes. The seat needs to be aiming downwards in this position like this, put back the canopy. Then what you're going to want to do is up here on the handle, you have your main button that adjusts the height of the handle. Underneath is an unlocking button. So you're going to depress both buttons and then you're going to push it all the way in. You have to use a little bit of force. Then you're going to allow the handle to drop down. You can grab the back of the uh, seat frame and fold it in and it'll fold right into its one piece standing fold. In order to fold this up again, we're just going to lift up, flick everything out, and the lock back in place, the chassis wheel. And you can adjust your seat as you like, and your handle. In order to get that handle back up, by the way, when it's in that lowest position, you do have to depress both buttons to begin with, get it up above a certain point, and then you just need the one button to adjust height. With the seat facing forwards, you want the seat in its most upright position. You can put back the canopy. Swivel locks are still locked, brakes are applied, and we're gonna do this the same way. Depress both buttons, give it a little bit of a slam, it'll unlock, and then you can lower down that seat frame, lift up on that seat frame, and rock the front end in, and it'll go straight into its one-piece standing bolt. Again, to put it up again, we're just going to lift it up and allow the chassis to lock back into its correct place. Depress both buttons to get control of that handle height, lift it up past that point, and then you can Choose as you like how high you want it. In order to remove elements, in order to get this as small as possible, I'm going to put back the canopy. You can, of course, take your bumper bar off, which is those buttons on the inside of the bumper bar. And remove the seat frame by pressing in those two memory buttons. And then we can remove the wheels from the chassis in order to get it a little bit smaller. So there's a button here on the inside facing of the rear frame. Remove both rear wheels. Then for the front wheels, the button to remove them is right here on the front of the front frame. So to press it and they'll slide right out. Then we can fold down the chassis the same way. So to press both buttons, press it in until it unlocks, let the handle fall down, and the chassis will fold down naturally a lot smaller. When it comes to the seat frame, you fold this portion in, and then here under the seat frame are these mechanical elements that lock the seat into its like upright or open position. And if you press in on the baseboard, you'll unlock this point here, and that allows you to fold the whole seat frame flat. Now, in case you are packing the trunk to go on holiday and space is a bit of an issue, you can get all your elements together and they'll take up a lot less space than if you were to just use that uh, one piece fold. Folding down the stroller with the bassinet, in order to get that one-piece fold, you again have to have the swivel locks locked and the brakes applied. You want to push back your canopy and you want to grab that positional adjustment trigger and pull the bassinet down into this angled position so that it lines up with the handle. Then, just as before, we're going to depress both of those buttons on the handle, press it all the way in and allow that handle to go down to the ground. You're going to grab the back of the bassinet and flip up and it will Fit, flip straight into its one-piece standing fold. To fold it up again, I'm just going to lift it until it all locks into place, and then pull that bassinet up into a flat position again. To fold the bassinet down as flat as possible, we're going to put back that canopy, remove the bumper bar with those two buttons on the inside, and then there are these struts in the front and back. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is to slide them so that they unlock along that track and pop off. So there's one, here's the other one. Then we can take that foot assembly, fold it forwards, and now the whole thing is loose. And you can just remove the struts if you like. 